Please welcome to us and Cat Vlogs. This is Amabel, the partner of Ching, and for this video, with my partner, we will discuss about the commonalities and the differences of the two organizations, which are the General Agreements on Tariffs and Trade and the World Trade Organization. And hi everyone, my name is Kat, and I will be the one who will discuss about the World Trade Organization. So let's start! Before that, let me ask you, what is General Agreements on Tariffs and Trade? Well, General Agreements on Tariffs and Trade, are no, or known as a GATT, is a legal agreement between many countries whose overall purpose was to promote international trade by reducing or eliminating trade barriers such as tari tariffs or quotas. The basic principle of JATT was that trade should be free and equal. This means that every market should be open equally to the member nations without any discrimination and any unequal treatments happening. JATT's normal business involves negotiations on specific, specific trade problems affecting particular commodities or trading nations but major multi, multi, multilateral trade conferences were held per, periodically to work out tar, tariff reductions and other issues. The purpose of the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade was to make international trade easier and to eliminate harmful trade protectionism. Also, it is to substantial reduction of tariffs and other trade barriers and the elimination of preferences on a reciprocal and mutually advant advantageous basis. So what is the World Trade Organization or which is also widely known as WTO? So the World Trade Organization is the only global international organization dealing with the rules of trade between nations. At its heart are the WTO agreements negotiated and signed by the bulk of the world's trading nations and ratified in their parliaments. The goal of the World Trade Organizations is to help producers of goods and services, exporters, and importers conduct their business. So, there are actually a number of ways of looking at the World Trade Organization. So, it is an organization for trade opening. It is a forum for governments to negotiate trade agreements. It is a place for them to settle trade disputes. And it operates a system of trade rules. Essentially, the World Trade Organization is a place where member governments try to sort out the trade problems they face with each other. The World Trade Organization is run by its member governments. All major decisions are made by the membership as a whole, either by mini ministers who usually meet at least once every two years or by their ambassadors or delegates. The World Trade Organization agreements are lengthy and complex because they are legal texts covering a wide range of activities, but a number of simple fundamental principles run throughout all of these documents. These principles are the foundation of the multilateral trading system. So, as an overview, the World Trade Organization or the WTO is the international organization 
whose primary purpose is to open trade for the benefit of all. The commonalities between the general agreements on tariffs and trade and world trade organizations are to enhance and work free trade, promoting fair competition and encouraging development and economic reform. They both want that both countries to have fair share of benefits. The two organi organizations want to have transparent and effective international system of trade. On the contrary, WTO is a global body which superseded GATT and deals with the rules of international trade between member nations. While GATT is a simple agreement, there is no institutional existence but have, uh, but have a small secretariat. Conversely, WTO is a permanent institution along with a secretariat. And that's the end of our discussion. I really do hope that you've learned something from us again. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell below for more updates and upcoming videos. Thank, Thank you, you and bye! Goodbye.